Welcome to the Fashion Institute of Technology, a college of art, design, and business of the State University of New York. Hi everyone, I'm Professor Kokinos of the Advertising and Marketing Communications Department here at FIT. Let's take a look at our state-of-the-art video production studio. Here in our studio, advertising and marketing communication students produce professional video content, learning all of the production roles. Students get hands-on experience of the entire production process. How do I find out more about this fantastic program? To find out more, visit us at fitnyc.edu. So that version was an animatic that had the dialogue and the um, music kind of married already to the slide animations and it can be used very easy to, to get uh, client approval and to communicate your ideas to a crew or talent. And what I did is create a master slide that had placeholders for both the content, pictures and things like that, and then the text for action notes and dialogue, audio, music, things like that. Then there's a footer down at the bottom that has the date, the title, and I'm in the way, but it also has the scene and shot number. Uh, you can see how the animations move here. The next one is a Pixton of me, and uh, this is a add-in for PowerPoint. It's free, and you can use this very uh, effectively for storyboards. Uh, you have real realistic looking kind of comic strip characters. The large arrow indicates that I am moving. Okay, usually when you see a fat arrow like that, it indicates that subject movement is going on. Then we have some standard wide shot with voiceover. So here we have icons that are also easy to use in PowerPoint and are pretty effective in uh, depicting subjects in the storyboard frame. Um, they are free, they're simpler than the Pixton uh, comic strip kind of avatars. And uh, here we have some camera movement again, so the camera is panning. And then I added some uh, text-to-speech AI dialogue for the woman speaking. How do I find out more about this fantastic program? And then finally, the call to action. Okay, so here I am in PowerPoint. I'm going to open up a blank presentation. And then I'm going to uh, add a new slide. Okay, so I'll pick the title and content placeholder slide. And what I want to do is click on the master slide. So if you go to the view menu here, view, and then go to slide master, you can see the master layout for this one. And I'm going to rename that one from title and content to, if you guessed it, storyboard. Let's delete that one because I'm going to change the size. And I'm going to highlight the content placeholder here. Hold down the shift key so it doesn't move left to right and just move it straight up on the slide pretty much to the top. Okay, and then you can see you can use your file pictures, you can use web pictures, and you can also use the icons right here. Um, and then I'm going to format this, just double click on the edge of it again. You should get your format shape, um, depending on if you're using a PC, you may see it at the top. I'm just going to go to line, and I'm going to add a solid line of black, and we'll make it two points in size. So the width is going to be two points. Just so it stands out on the slide when there's nothing in there, you'll see the uh, placeholder. Okay, so we've got that. And now we're going to go to the Insert tab, Insert Text Box. Okay, so click on Text Box and then go into the slide. And I'm going to drag out a text box and make it match the borders of the content placeholder. You can see the guides appear as soon as I get close to it. Okay, and then again, double click this solid line same thing black two points okay so now we have our uh, placeholder for action dialogue music camera moves all kinds of production notes can go there and it'll automatically resize uh, as you expand it so you can see there's a footer here this could be pretty uh, useful um, so we're going to insert that also go to insert tab header and footer and I'm going to do the date and time, why not? The slide number I want, that's going to be over here, uh, and the footer. And then I don't want it on the title slide, so the first slide is special. You won't see it there. And then click Apply to All so it appears on all the other slides. In the footer, you can put the title. I'll just put uh, FIT spot for now, keep it short. And then in the number box, I've got the slide number there. I'm going to put the scene and the shot number. 
Okay, so we've got that. Those will appear on all the slides now as we create them. And I think we're good. If now if you go to view normal, okay, you can see here we've got our thing going on. If I want to add a picture, I can go to the web and I could go to uh, my icons. It's a little slow here while it's looking for online pictures, but I don't know why all this stuff is a little slow. Maybe because I'm doing this thing. I'm doing this recording. It's probably why it's not working, but you saw it in the other demonstration. I'm not going to go crazy with that. So what we want to do now is add more of these. And the easy way to do it, obviously, would be to just go to, uh, you know, copy and paste. So you can just add more of them like that. Um, that will work really nicely. The other thing that you can do is if you go to new slide now, you'll see that you've actually created a template called Storyboard. Now, you could save this as a template also if this is your own machine. Um, not in the FIT lab, you know, it's not going to work there, but, uh, at home you could do save as template. And this way, every time you want to make a new storyboard, you can just open up this template. It'll be blank and ready to go for you. So if you go to insert my add-ins, you can see typically, um, the add-ins should appear and here is Pixton comic characters. In order to make the animatic, what I did was here's the finished uh, storyboard in PowerPoint. So then you go to the slideshow menu and go to record slideshow. And this is where you can actually record yourself with your webcam and narration uh, along with each slide, telling people what's going on. And this is a great way to inform your clients, your network, your crew, your talent at what you expect when you're actually on location and shooting. So you go to file print now. When you go to print what, see where it says print what. So layout here is slides. We're going to go to handouts, six per page. And there you've got that lovely storyboard view. And that's what I want you guys to actually print and be able to, you know, again, hand it out to people. Uh, people can make notes on it. You can make notes on it, production notes, mark it up. So there's all kinds of versatility here. You can also obviously save it as a PDF, which is great. If you save it as a PDF, you can send this somebody who doesn't have PowerPoint. Lots of versatility in using PowerPoint. Obviously, there's other ways to do this too. You could do this in other packages like Canva or Adobe Express. I think that PowerPoint does a nice job of it though. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me an email.